Let's get ready. I've been up for hours doing my hair and I'm feeling spunky. So let's use some peach and a lily. They're matcha uh, put in um, antioxidant cream. So good. How are you all doing? Oh, ever since I've been here in Utah, my lower uh, back has been killing me. Well, more like my leg has been killing me. And I know it's because of the cold. And I'm going to probably need to find a chiropractor. Because that hurts. I have high pain tolerance. And I just can't take this pain anymore. Ugh. Have a sip of my coffee. I got a stain. So this is the plan today. We're going to go out to lunch to Texas Roadhouse. I love Texas Roadhouse. It's been quite a while. And I guess we're going with my husband with his best friend. So I'm coming along. It'll be fun. I get along with his friends. So it's all good. I love how glowy these goldy drops are. Ooh. So I switched rooms. I'm in my mother's room because she has a TV and the guest room does not. And she's gone. She says I can hang out in here. So like all my stuff is all over. <laughs> I was telling my mom, she makes you feel at home regardless. Like her place isn't very big, but I feel more at home here where my dad has a house versus her apartment. And I, that's how it always been. Do you guys ever, can you relate to that? Because that's how I feel when I stay with my mom. Not going to laminate my brows. I'm just using the e.l.f. brows. I found it in my makeup bag. Forgot I had it. So I'm going to just quickly use this. I think this is like under three bucks. And it does such a good job. And I'm just going to fill in my brow hair real quick. Back to curling my hair. So in Texas, I could never get my hair this curly because of the humidity. And here in Utah, it's really dry. So I'm like, I'm going to use my, i am got a video coming along because it's a 90s curling, half inch curling wand. Took me like three hours to do my hair like this. Show you guys how to get a neutral look with this palette. I know it had some crazy fun colors, but you could do a natural look too. So you're going to mainly use that color and then a couple of the light ones. So, and I'm going to go in with a light transition color on the bottom here. And then we're going to kind of just go like so. Something like this. I was playing around with eyeshadow makeup last night. Do you ever just do that? And it didn't work, so I couldn't post anything. I had time to do content. And I'm just going to... So I'm just doing a light brown color here. You don't need a lot. It's full and neutral. How pretty their brown is. And you just go over like so. See, this is fun, simple, neutral look. And I'm going to go in with a brown eyeshadow. How pretty that is. Now I'm going to do a separate video for this. For Instagram. Take off the tape like so. And then we're going to clean this up. I had to take a phone call. Alright, let's prime my face. And I'm using Danessa Myricks Primer, one of my favorites. And it's so hydrating here in Utah. Okay, it's so dry here in Utah, and this is hydrating. I said that wrong. Every time I use this, it smells like cucumbers. This will be a definitely a repurchase. Oh, it's that time again when we need to go through our makeups and say what's the uh, love and hate about it. The fluent, yeah. Ah, I like that. There's some products that I absolutely hated this year and some that I love. <laughs> Sucks is a lot of my products are at home, but I could do my favorites so far. Oh, look how glowy and hydrating I look now. Yeah. So, while I was getting ready and curling my hair, my hair, I've been watching 
Meryl's Place. Do any of you even know what Meryl's Place is? It's on Amazon Prime, and it's one of my favorite um, TV series. And I've watched the series. It's seven season, and it's so great. I've watched it like a hundred times. <laughs> I never get tired of it. Back in the day, it was on a Monday nights when I went into high school, and I looked forward to it all the time. And I would actually record the show when I couldn't watch it. So get my recorder out, Blake tape. We had recorders, VHSs back then. This is kind of like a 90s day. I'm like doing my hair like in the 90s and watching 90s movies. <laughs> You guys have a favorite 90s show that you loved watching as a teenager? Where are my Gen Z's at? Come on. All right. <laughs> That's been for me. He's going to come in about 40 minutes. So we're going to speed this up. I'm using some tart, juicy, glow, the Marwaka stuff. This stuff is good. Tart has been making a comeback with their product lately. All right, let's put this in. I love this stuff. I really like Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Tint, and I have really liked Tarte's Glow. It's been great products this year. So I will do a video on my favorite products. Like I said, now I'm just kind of rambling. <laughs> so New Year's is coming up. Do you guys have any plans? I'm going to go meet with some of my girlfriends who I used to hang out back in my college days. We didn't go to college together. I met them after high school, but we would party all the time. <laughs> oh, my face kind of feels on fire. So I put some tar, uh, some toothpaste, toothpaste, some toothpaste lip injection. And a little bit got on my skin. Ow! I feel the burning sensation on my face. Put on some elf setting spray. Oh, calm down my skin. Ow. <laughs> Pressing the beauty blender. I gotta speed this up. <laughs> I use two contour sticks because I feel like this is a lighter bronzer and this is a tad bit darker. And I, I've seen people, influencers, use different two shades of contour all the time. Let's go here. I know my eye looks weird, but I want to do my... <laughs> quick tutorial here if I have time I better do it let's do this here here I know it's not straight I don't care and then so this is the tinted blur stick nude stick I actually really like this I'm surprised it's not um it's so underrated I feel like because the LYS has been taking over this is just as good. It's a little bit more, so I think I get that. Let's put a little here, here, and again, and my lighting sucks in here. I'm gonna use this and melt this in. Get a little color on my skin. I make up my Mario brush. I'm like, why is it loose? It broke gonna fall apart this is why I don't like buying um like look it's pretty much broke I don't like buying expensive brushes because if they break there's 30 bucks down the drain some makeup by Mario bronzer hair he is coming out with some new lip products I saw so when it drops in Sephora you know I'll get some I did get a Sephora gift card from my husband so maybe we'll try it Powder to set, yes. Mm -hmm. okay, let's go in with some blush. I'm gonna use the makeup by Mario. This is the Rose Crush. I'm gonna go in with like a with that color, kind of maroon. I always do bright pink, so I'm gonna tone it down and do a little bit darker color. Oh, I got it in my eye a little bit, but that's okay. Let's go in with some wild berry to set it. My makeup is so dirty. I need to clean it. So this is the powder version. 
This will be in my video. Oh, that's too pigmented. Ah, yikes, yikes. <laughs> Love this brush, this blending brush I got off of Amazon. It's a lifesaver, especially when I do it, overdo it on my blushes. Blend, blend, blend. Ah. Anyway, I am almost done here. I did the quick tutorial on my eye look. Oh, feeling good. It's, um, Huda. Okay. I really like Huda. Huda is my favorite setting powder. Like, there's different stuff I like about Huda. Like, each brand. I don't use them easy bake because it's... Houston, Houston, when I was in San Antonio over the summer, it was so humid there. No, dust this off. I'm starving. After I let it sit, I just take my big fluffy brush here and just kind of dust this. Love it. This I need more of. And I think Sephora Love, she gets. But it's just one of my favorites. I would recommend it. Ooh. So that is me. Bowls, their steak, so good. Oh, what I like to do when I finish my hair, oh, my lipstick, I shake it, which I already did, and then I spray it one more time. And this is my final look. <laughs> my 90s hairstyle. Ooh!